Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto was neglected and had animatronic release? Yes, it is kind of related to Five Nights at Freddy's because yesterday three books were released or at least one. I heard it, it was an audiobook called Felix the Shark. It was a animatronic shark and it kind of freaked me out really. If you haven't checked that out, I suggest you do because that shark is one freaky shark. And yeah, as I said, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, if you haven't then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado, let's begin with our story. Our story begins in Namikaze Uzumaki household in Konoha Gakure no Sato. As we see, a five-year-old Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze looking from the window of his room towards his family as he saw his family being trained and happily together as his older brother Manma and sister Mito were being trained to become a Konoichi and Shinobi of the said village and to carry on their legacy while well, he was left out again because he couldn't mold chakra why was this happening because he was different. Why was he different? Because five years ago at their birth, he was born with a defect because of their mother being a Jinchuriki and him being the closest to QB any child would be, he suffered the most. His chakra coils were crushed and he couldn't use them anymore. His godmother Sonata said that in due time it will heal but five years later it still hadn't. There were some progress but it stopped midway and there hasn't been any since. As we see him sighing and finally going back to his study table to read some shinobi history. He was getting bored of it, reading about the kages and the wars over and over and over again. He needed to do something new or else he will die of boredom if not of anything else. As he then thought of an idea, he went towards his father's library where many books were kept regarding shinobi arts and teachings and funjutsu. He thought why not since it will improve his sealing powers if nothing else. So he went there while his family was outside. As he entered, he was looking through many books. Boring, ah, look what, boring books here. And then suddenly his eyes laid on a purple covered book in all the other bland books. Huh, what's this? Fairy tales? Mysteries? Hmm, sounds interesting, Naruto said as he picked up that book and took it with him to his room. As he was walking towards his room, his family had already come inside as his mother said, Naruto, why don't you come and have dinner with us? It's already evening. I don't want to. I'm just gonna go to my room and read some stories. I took a book from your library, Dad. Oh, uh, fine then. Well, I was hoping that you would spend some time with us, Fan Naruto. Said Kushina, because she was saddened that they were openly ignoring Naruto, but it was for his betterment. It was in order to protect him. Their paranoia after their children's birth, when a sudden masked man attacked and caused the QB attack to happen after freeing it from Kushina, they, both parents were paranoid. So, they weren't going to take any cautions, even though it caused them pain and some rips in their families. They knew they could fix these cracks, but God knows when and where their time will come. Or will it even ever come? Kushina was beginning to doubt that, that it will ever come. But Naruto, I said mom, I don't need it. As Kushina then frowned and narrowed her eyes, she got into her mother mode. Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, you are going to have dinner with us and that's final. <sighs> Fine, at least let me go and just put this book back. Fine, hurry up, you have two minutes. As Naruto rolled his eyeballs and went inside his room to put the book on his bed. As he turned around, he could have sworn the temperature in the room dropped. As Naruto then was confused, huh? Could have sworn that it is a warm day and how come it's so cold suddenly? Eh, must be my imagination. As Naruto closed the door shut and went downstairs. As Naruto entered their living room to see that everyone was already in the dining table in the kitchen, 
because both of the rooms were connected. As Naruto went there and sat down after greeting everyone. As my mother said, hey loser, what you been up to? Nothing much, hero, Naruto said sarcastically as Menma, Menma frowned. I was joking, Naruto. You don't have to be so dis sarcastic. Come on, Menma. He's just jealous that we are the awesome Shinobi and Konoichi while he gets to play nothing. Ooh, my bones are shaking with excitement. Naruto said sarcastically again, while Minato and Kushina frowned at this, as did Menma and Mito. Geez, you're no fun, Mito said, as after that they had their lunch silently, or most likely for Naruto silently. As Minato then said, Naruto, how about you train in Taijutsu? Why would I do that now? As you said, my chakra calls. Well, Taijutsu is not bad for you. Huh, you could have told me that year or so ago when you tr started their training. Why now? Naruto said with a raised eyebrow. As his parents were shocked, as Kushina got angry at this, because Naruto was not so nice to anyone anymore. Naruto, that is no way to talk to your father and your siblings like that. Do you know how hard they are training just in order to protect you? I didn't ask to be protected, Naruto asked. Naruto said to them, which caused their eyes to get widened. I never asked, did I? Naruto was getting mad. Yet you all just Put your beliefs that I'm someone, a loser, Naruto said, a waste of space or a, some burden, a extra luggage that you all need to protect and just carry on with you. I didn't ask to do that. Any of you to do that. I just want to be myself. Is it that hard to ask? Is it that hard to ask just to all of you just to support me for what I'm doing? I'm not going to be a shinobi. No, never. Because I have seen the horrors of the shinobi world already. What do you mean by that, Naruto? said Minato. As he was saddened by this, and so was Kushina, and so was everyone else. They thought that Naruto wasn't aware of the dangers he was in, but it became aware to them that he was, and he had his own needs, and they openly ignored it. That a shinobi family ignores if you're being different than them. It caused to go their eyes wide. No, Naruto, we are not ignoring you. What have you been doing for the past two years? Do you think I'm some innocent kid who doesn't understand? For the first few months, I get it, I didn't. I was saddened and even cried some time. But after that time, I got the picture. You wanted me out of your family, or at least not to bother you all. So that is what I did for the past year. And you didn't seem to notice. Why the sudden interest now? Let the life carry on as it is. I do my thing, you do yours, and we don't bother with each other. Once I'm old enough to carry myself on and live on by myself, I'll leave. I promise. You won't hear even a peep from me until then. After that, Naruto got off and left. As the family was saddened by these remarks from their brother and son. Well, we didn't know that he felt that way, said Mito. I get it, we were just playing, but... We didn't know that it hurt him this much, said Menma. We never knew, I guess. We were a failure as a family. A snarl went at his room as he then saw it. <sighs> Why, man? Why do I have to grow up so fast? Naruto said. As Naruto's eyes laid on the book. Huh. Could have sworn that I put it on the table. Why is it on my bed? As Naruto ignored the fact and just jumped on the bed and started to read it. As he began to read the book, it got interesting. It was many, many mysteries unsolved there. As Naruto found one particular mystery that was interesting. A building that appears only one night in the forest of death. The night of the full moon. On Halloween night at 3.30 a.m. It is said that whoever went there never returned. It is a huge building and has the name Fazbear Pizzeria. Huh, Fazbear? What does that mean? And Pizzeria? Is this some kind of a food? And the said building, as it read, is quite haunting as it gives a chilly and scary vibe. God knows what is inside of it. Those who went there never returned. 
and those said persons were kids. It is said that a purple shadowy figure looms around there. And it is said to be the vic said to be the person who has taken the children as its victim. It is said that no one should go there at the time. If so, then there will be consequences and you'll be on your own. Interesting. And from the looks of it, Halloween is drawing near, as it said here. Hmm, it will be quite interesting to go and scoop this out. Not like they're going to bother with that. <laughs> and not waited for a few weeks, studying it over and over again to make everything right, every preparation right. And the final time hit. It was 2.45 a.m. He went out of his house while his family was going on the festival that was happening inside the village. Snardo sneaked out of the house. They never bothered to call him in. At least they tried to knock at his door but he didn't answer. They thought that he was asleep. And that is when Nardo took the liberty of getting out of there. As we see him walking towards the forest of death, as he entered there, he was being watched by one Anpu. Or to be more precise, a Takubetsu Jonin. She wore a trench cord. It was none other than Anko Mitrashi, the pharaoh of the village. As Naruto arrived at the location, as it said, after evading many wild animals and centipedes, and many, many traps, huh, could have sworn that it is said that it will appear here. As Naruto looked at the moon, it was full, as it illuminated and fall upon a building that appeared out of nowhere. Just 10 feet away from him. Wait, I could have sworn that. Wait, how did it. <sighs> Never mind, it is here. Snarl about quite excited. It was as it said Fazbear Pizzeria. And it had, from the looks of it, a teddy bear on it that was smiling with a hat as Snarl that opened the door and went inside. The joining then landed where Nard was standing. Oh no. He has went inside the building. I must inform the Hokage-sama. As Uncle went away because she knew about the fright that appeared out of nowhere. She never had the guts to go inside. Even she as a snake mistress was scared of it. And even Orochimaru was. Yes, it was a building that was appearing at the same time in the same night over and over again every year. Gaining many victims. But it had been decreased almost to zero thanks to the fences being there and uncle being the one who is the ward and garden, guardian of the said forest. As we see uncle dashing back towards the village while well, Naruto went inside. As Naruto went inside, he found a form. As an animatronic voice said, thank you for choosing Fred Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria as a place to dine in. Hop in and the crew will entertain you in a few moments. As Naruto was quite surprised, thought, what crew? As suddenly, behind him, lights fl flickering was heard as Naruto turned around to see four figures standing there. One looking like a teddy bear that he saw outside, while the one looking like a chicken or duck with a bib that said let's eat and a cupcake in her hand, while the two of the rest were a bunny and a fox. As Naruto was quite intrigued by them. He has never seen anything like this before. He got near them. As they began to perform, unknown to him the animatronics were watching him. As Naruto became excited. This is so cool. How come how come nobody came here? As suddenly the performance stopped midway and the lights started to flicker. And one by one, the animatronic was gone as the light flickered. Wait, where did they go? Naruto said as he was getting scared now. As he heard Freddy's voice, he shouldn't have come here, little one. As behind him was another Freddy, but he had more new design. As he then said, my name is Rockstar Freddy, hop inside. I will protect you, Naruto. How do you know my name? You filled that up on that form, didn't you? But, but I didn't. It has your name now. 
this building. It knows about you, and so does he. Who? Afton. William Afton. As Freddie said after hearing a creaking sound. What was that? Hop inside. We don't have much time. As Nardo hopped inside his hatch as it closed. As as Nardo could see through Freddie's eyes. As in front of him. A mangled up bunny with brown fur came. It was almost as if something was inside of it that looked like human skull as its eyes were red. Freddy, where is the kid? Said Afton. How are you alive, William? I thought I killed you. <laughs> you cannot kill me. I always come back. This time we'll make sure of it. As behind Freddy, all of the animatronics came. The original. The nightmares and even the sister locations. <laughs> if you think you have all of them here, then so do I. As suddenly, a huge figure started to came as two bullies were pulling them, pulling the said figure towards them. Snardo gasped, almost holding his breath. It was a shark. It was a shark animatronic, and it was quite horrifying. When I gawked out, face decaying, one eye active, looking for the victim. M meet Felix. As suddenly, Felix charged at all of the animatronics as Nardo heard screams and everything. As Freddy let Nardo out of the pizzeria by dashing past the shark and everything. As Nardo was outside, Freddy opened the hatch. Get away from here, Nardo. It's not safe here. Promise that you'll never return. As before Nardo could dash away, he saw William standing behind him. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you will help me to get myself back to life. Who oh, Get away from me, you creepy bastard. Who, who are you? I... I am a god, and you just enraged me, kid," said William, as William about to jump scare Naruto. Then, out of nowhere, Roxanne the wolf came and jumped on him. She was mangled up and had no eyes. Get away from here, kid. We'll hold him back. But before he could go, Monteroy Gator came and got one of Naruto's legs in his teeth. You're not going anywhere, kid. It's over. You're coming with me. No, leave me, Nardo said as he was punching the face of the gator. As at the time, Manbus and Shinobis have came. As they came to this side, they were horrified. What were these monsters doing? And they were made out of metal. As suddenly, a huge shark at the size of a megalodon came outside. No longer it was being holded by bullies. It was levitating in the air. As the shark swam in air faster than anything and devoured Naruto. As in front of everyone, they all saw Naruto being eaten by the thing. Naruto's screams were muffled but heard. As Afton laughed, Yes, it is done! Before he could do anything, Minato came there. Odama Rasengan! You! No! This is a cursed vault. It has to be here at the time. I forgot. After the screams were heard, but when the explosions died, nothing was there. Instead of enraged father, as two children came and in front of every animatronic, they had red energy coming out of them. Their eyes were slits, which even scared the animatronics. Give us our brother back. Felix the shark looked at them and charged. But the cubified man mind Mito battled them and at the end defeated it tearing it apart but something had happened Naruto was mangled up as if his body was chewed out he was still breathing as Perry then said getting up calm down not all of us are bad 
It was Afton that you killed. Who are you? Calm down, we'll tell you, but where are we? You are in our village, Konhagakure. Wait, is this Japan? No. What is Japan? Freddy said the toy Freddy. This is not our world. Did you forget what Puppet said? As a box appeared in front of them as it opened to reveal a horrifying puppet. It had a white mask and two glowing dot-like eyes. I'm sorry about what happened to your son. I can give him new life, but he will have to be in the form of the shark and some other animatronics. As you shinobis like to call it, a kakagenkai that will help him survive. C can you do that? But, but who are you people and who are they? How can we trust you? Said Kushina. I know how it feels. We were all once kids who were captured and killed by a madman that you killed. As the puppet began to explain their side of the story and who that man was that Minato killed. Or machine. After hearing their stories, all of them were crying. You mean you're, you're just a five-year-old child? As all of them nodded. Yes, all of us are. And I am unfortunately his son as well. I tried to undo the deeds of my father, but it was already too late. I died at the hands of my own sister, who took, who wanted my body so much that just to escape that hell that my father created for her, and I created for my brother. As baby came there and hugged Freddy, and so did the Golden One. We forgive you, brother. I know you didn't mean it. You just joked around, but it was all his fault. He should have known better. Yeah. But I still feel guilty. I could have done so much for you all, but I couldn't. I was ignorant. I was powerless. No, son, said Belora. You weren't. So all of you are his relatives either or some victims that he chose? Said Kushina with disgust. Yes, but I'm afraid that he will come back. He always does. Said Baby, completing her brother's sentence. As Minato then said, okay, we trust you. We, I'm afraid we do not have much time, said Puppet. We have to do what we do now. As all of the pop all of the animatronics gather, you know what we have to do, right? Yes. He will turn into a human, but he will be able to use all of our powers. Freddy's strength, Bonnie's cunningness, and super jump speed, Foxy's super speed. And Chica's flame breath, as well as Blora's flexibility, baby's strength added alongside her cunningness. My strength. He will be so much strong, and he will be able to combine our powers as well and use it for good. We trust him because he's a pure soul, a soul that is unfortunate, a soul that was caught in the crossfire, in a fight that wasn't supposed to be his," said Puppet. As all of the animatronics started to disappear, as all of them went inside the mangled body of Naruto, and even Felix, the shark that was destroyed, started to levitate and went inside Naruto, as did Puppet the last time. As Naruto, in front of everyone, his veins turned into metal strips as they started to close each and every part of the body, as Naruto woke up. He looked at everyone. What is going on? He said in a mechanical voice first. What happened to my voice? Naruto said in his voice then, as the building started to disappear, as it was already 5 a.m. The family dashed towards Naruto and hugged him close. As they were crying, what happened? What happened to the shark that ate me? Nothing. Nothing happened, Naruto. You're fine. You're fine. As after that, the family went back, but unknown to them, due to the fasgu, the substance that allows the animatronics to come to life and even their spirits that leaked out of spring trap or burn trap escaped, finding a new body. It can only find a decayed body and guess what 
whose body it found after searching for one month as Naruto was recovering from this trauma during that month. Madara Uchiha's. Shinobi that strong, huh? <laughs> no one can stop me now. I will be able to get more victims and many, many more puppets at my hands. As suddenly the goo was dissolved in the ground of the grave. As a hand, a skeletal looking hand, got up. As when Madara came outside, his hair was purple and so were his eyes. He was still somewhat half skeleton and half skin like that was so chipped up and then he smiled good. I still have his powers. <laughs> Beware animatronics, you haven't seen the last of me. I have come back again. As we go towards Naruto as he was sleeping that night, as he awoke inside his mindscape to see a tank in which a shark was looking at him with one eye and many puppets surrounding it. As a box opened to reveal in front of him as Naruto was scared, please don't hurt me. We're not. We're not under his control. We won't be able to hurt you. I'm sorry, kid, said Monterey Getter. I know I was under control, but I shouldn't have done that. What happened to us? What, what do you mean? We already told your parents. It seems that they haven't told you, Naruto. As Puppet began to explain who they were and what happened. As Felix was none other than the son of the owner of the pizzeria in which Felix was situated, who died because of his father's unfortunate plans of kidnapping and killing children as he was the spirit that now roamed around in Felix's body. As Felix apologized too, as Naruto then forgave them all. And when he learned that he could use now chakra and use their powers as a means to get his name, his own image in a shinobi world, they were, Naruto was happy and so were they. Naruto for the most part from then on started to spend time with them. While his siblings were quite worried about their brother because he was spending more and more time inside their, his own room and not spending time with them. They were thinking that he wasn't able to recover from the trauma as a whole, but he was training. He was recovered. As time went by, Naruto was enrolled into the academy after deeming that his coils were back to full health and he was able to mold chakra. And he was inside the same year as his siblings, who were at the top of the academy while he was at the bottom last. And finally, three years later of training and training and remaining there, he was placed inside the team with his siblings. Naruto still avoided them because he was hurt. He was hurt and afraid that he might hurt them, that he might see them as a cubified figure he could still remember from the animatronics memories or more like Felix memories what they were and both of the siblings were saddened by this they thought that it was because of their fault of teasing him so much that led to things being like this and they were feeling guilty about it and they couldn't even talk to him and so could be said for his parents meaning Naruto was again left alone to his own devices because of their fears and Naruto fear turned into anger for them for leaving that so and when the team was decided that they will be placed in team 13 under Kushina Uzumaki Naruto went to Hokage his father and said that he wanted to be set free as Anko then took the liberty of taking him as an apprentice Minato after many many arguments with Naruto making him agree finally agreed to this and Sai was placed in Kushina's team she was saddened that her son didn't want to be her, with her, and so could be said for her siblings. As we go towards uncle, who was sitting in the forest of death with Naruto, who was silent. Let's get one thing straight, Gaki. We are going to do a lot of missions together, and we have to cooperate. If we don't, then we might die. I know, uncle. I know. You can call me Sensei, Brad. It won't hurt you. Fine, Sensei. So, what can you do? Snorter then said, oh, many things. As suddenly, 
he launched a genjutsu, in which Anko was in a tank filled with water. As the current pulled her some towards something inside the water, as she saw, it was a mangled shark. Its eyes was glowing and it's, it had metal teeth that was swimming towards her. As for the first time in her life, she felt fear as the water was green and dark and she had no way to escape. She started to swim against it but couldn't. As before the shark could get near her, Naruto ended it. As Uncle was sweating, as she guessed, that was one heck of a genjutsu. It was, but you could have died there. It was my strongest genjutsu. I call it Genjutsu Felix Emergence. As after that, Uncle then said, Really? That's quite dangerous, kid. And you could have killed me. I didn't plan to, nor did Felix. What do you mean? It's a Genjutsu. How can it kill? Well, Naruto then said, Remember the shark that attacked me? His name is Felix. You mean that was the... Ugh, that looks... That thing looks horrifying. Hey, he's mad because you're saying he's horrifying. Where is he? As Naruto then summoned Felix, who was now floating in air. See? He's here. As Uncle's jaws dropped, and so her eyes were about to pop. The real thing watching in broad daylight was much more scarier than even imagining it in underwater, which made it more horrifying. As feeling then spoke in a kid-like tone, Sorry. Wait. Why is it speaking? How can it speak? It's an animatronic that is possessed by a kid's spirit. His name is Felix as well. And his father named him after the shark. Or the shark is named after his son. E yes. What did Naruto saying is true. Thanks, Felix. Why don't you go inside, buddy? Yeah. I. It's kind of weird to float in here. It's so light. Yeah, I know. As after that, Felix was gone. As Anko and Naruto from then on took and did many missions. After doing most of the sea rank missions, they returned from evacuating and putting some scaredness and horror into the hearts of the bandits that were going to rape some women, thanks to Felix and all the puppets that Naruto summoned, and animatronics as well, to scare them shitless, which was a success, and they were returning, they were given order by Hokage to go towards the land of waves where Team 13 may have went alongside Team 7 which consisted of Sasuke, Sakura, and a no-name Genin. As after they arrived there, they saw that the no-name Genin had died and Team 7 was as, lo as at loss of one Genin while the other were suffering badly as Kushina and Kakashi were battling against the said Mars person who was Zabsa Mamochi, the Demon of the Mist. As Naruto then said, hmm, it looks like his job for Felix and Puppet as he summoned both of them and his hands turned into Freddy's as he dashed towards the said man with foxy speed. As he was dashing there, he punched the man in the face which caused his jaws to crack as the sh he, his eyes then laid on a shark that was floating in air and was going to chop him into pieces. Before he could land, the sword was thrusted towards the shark who grabbed it with his metal teeth and crushed it. As Zabza was as at loss of words, and out of nowhere, a Mastin appeared who knocked him out with a Senbon. Thank you for doing this. I was following him for quite a while. I will take him away. I'm a hunter in from Kiri. Hope you don't mind. Not at all, said Kakashi, who was free from the Genjutsu, the Jutsu that was water prison that was placed on him by Zabza. Thank you. And after that, the Mast person went away. As everyone was remaining there, as they were quite shocked to see the same shark that attacked Naruto, as it went towards Naruto and said, That was so cool! Yeah, you're right, Felix. Hmm, I gotta say, this is quite interesting and fun, said Puppet. Right? Told you so, Shinobi life is awesome. As after that, both of them disappeared. See you guys later. Naruto, why is the shark here? Mother, as... Puppet told you all, Felix is innocent, he was being controlled by that man, William Apton. And suddenly, Naruto fell unconscious. Before he could speak, Naruto? Naruto! Oh my god! Tazuna, where is your home? These were the last words that Naruto heard. When he woke up, 
he was near everyone. As feelings nudged him, woke wake up Naruto. Wait, wait, what is going on? It's Afton. He's back. <sighs> I told you he always comes back. Said Ballora. Damn it. Where is he? He has possessed over somebody of the shinobi. His name is Madara Ojiha. Naruto's eyes for it. Wait, what? That can't be good, because that man is known as the God of War, as everyone's eyes wide. What do you mean? He single-handedly annihilated 800 shinobis without breaking a sweat. That has to be a joke, Foxy said. Oi, are you serious? Yes, Foxy, I am serious. He's not called the God of War for nothing. He has his Sharingan. I have read it over and over again in my room on the history. He was so strong that he was able to manipulate the Nine Tails. You mean that chakra that we sent from your siblings? Yes, they have half and half of it. He, con he was able to control it in uh, as a whole. And not only that, he was so strong that he was able to put armor on, over it. The book that showed I wrote about his battle with Madara. It some, has some pictures over it, and I saw it there. Hmm, then this can lead to quite devastating events, Naruto. We have to tell someone. It's not good. William Mifton is back, and more stronger than ever. He must be stopped at all costs before he causes more sorrow and destruction in your world. As after that, Naruto woke up in a gasp inside a room. He saw that his mother and his sensei and... An other man that he knew too well, Kakashi Harake, was there, and so were his siblings and Kakashi Harake's two teammates. As his mother asked Naruto, "All you'll write what happened?" As Naruto then said only four words, "He is back." As Kuchina's eyes widened, "You mean William Afton?" "Yes. He possessed our dead Shinobi's body." Who's said Kakashi because he saw what unfolded. Madara Uchiha's as their eyes widened. They were so scared they couldn't even move. The strongest shinobi that only Shoda was power of was revived and was being controlled by a child murderer. Things couldn't get any worse what they were about to, not that it knew. As we go towards Amegakure, Inside a deep cave in Gartsky base, we see Madara cackling. Good, my puppets are ready. As we see all of the Gartsky member being built as animatronics now in their original state. Good, as Madara then trapped all of their soul inside, and so did the same to Zetsu. But he, but he was the one who was able to control them. As after that, he said, Now, you're going to pay for that, puppet. And you too, Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> I will get my toy back. Felix will be back in my grasp before you know it. And you all will die. I'm going to be a god in this realm. And nobody can take that away from me. <laughs> As Afton began to laugh, Maniacly. As we go back to the land of waves, one week later, as we see Gato's dead body there being devoured by Felix, as the nightmare animatronics were released and they were butchering down every bad guy, every rapist out there. As after that, that animatronics that could haunt a child's dreams became heroes of a village, gave hope to one village. As they were being treated as heroes and being their little kids that were trapped inside them they were happy they were proud of themselves and this looked towards Naruto who was proud of them as well as they all went back inside Naruto Naruto had become good friends with Felix and each and every one of the animatronics that was there as they were returning back back towards Konoha as we go back towards Amegakure I hope this works now Hmm, this Rinnegan wielder will be good. Summoning Jutsu. As three metal coffins opened. As the said person prompt 
Hmm, what's this? Only two? Spaghetti Freddy. And the glob? Where is Ennard? And suddenly, Ennard appeared behind him. You! I will kill you! And suddenly, Fasgu was all over his body as he was now being under controlled by none other than Spring Burn Trap. I mean, Mother Trap. Yeah, that's a nice name. As he mother are trapped and laughed. <laughs> Three more puppets at my disposal. Soon I will have my own puppet army. And this world will be my playground. <laughs> As in Konoha, Naruto felt chill run down his mind. Are you right, Naruto? said Uncle. No, Sensei. I... I don't know why, but I feel that something bad is about to go happen. As suddenly, the tuning exams were announced by Anko and in the whole village, as Narda was going to participate as a single Ganon. As he entered, the first test went as in Canon, and the second one began as he went inside Forest of Death. As he was traveling throughout the forest after getting both of the scrolls after beating a army team, he was making his way to the center when he came across a Spaghetti Freddy and the Glob as both of them charged at Naruto. As the Glob consisted of each and every animatronic from a different Freddyverse in which they were turned into a Glob. Just like, you know, Freddy Fazbear, uh, the Pizzeria Simulator in which at the bottom of it, the whole Glob just took burn trap away after burning the whole thing down. That thing. As the Molten Freddy or the Spaghetti Freddy was also at his legs as Felix appeared and took on the Molten Freddy while Naruto took on the Glob as the Glob was being possessed. Naruto, they are possessed by him. How can I break them free? You can only absorb them. Leave the rest to us. As Naruto then said, Absorption Jutsu Reverse Summon as all three of them disappeared. And inside Naruto's mind, the battle began as Naruto was dashing as each and every animatronic charged at both of them, even the good Spaghet Freddy and the good Glob that was with them. As after that, they turned into... After breaking free from Afton's control, they said, Damn it, the cursed bastard! He, he got us back! Said the Glob, as all of them were speaking in a demonic and animatronic voice. As Spaghet Freddy then said, What can we do about him? We have to stop him at all cost. Ennard is with him. And not only that, he has turned the whole Akatsuki into animatronics. Akatsuki, what's that? As Puppet then said, let me search. As he, Puppet searched everything. Oh no, it seems that bad people exist here. They want to get nine tail bee juice, all of them, and destroy the world. Oh my god. As Felix then said, this is so cool. Felix, the world is about to be destroyed. How is this cool? Said Rockstar Freddy. As Roxy then said, yeah, loser shark, why is this so funny? Well, for once, we're going to be heroes and not just scary animatronics that everyone's afraid of. Well, that might be true, but we are only able to get ourselves, our consciousness here. What if we went back? We will lose our consciousness. We will be mindless killing machines as Afton would have wanted. And all those people said were in his board. As Felix frowned, you're right. I... I even killed that man that arrived there. He he was afraid. I I can still remember. He tried to get away. It's alright, Felix, calm down. We know we have killed so many innocent who arrived there, took the job, but they never made it out. Said the originals. So what are we going to do then now? said the toy Freddy. We're going to do what we do. This time for once and for all going to stop and put an end to his terror as after the second phase was complete Naruto heard the news that Rochmer bit Sasuke in the neck and his teammate other died and Sasuke was in a comatose state now as for his siblings they have already made it there team 7 was disqualified because of the rules but Kakashi knew better he was clenching his fist Enraged that he couldn't protect his student, two of them, 
he has lost. The third was in coma. He just hoped that he would survive. It was all over his teams again. Two of them died. Well, one of them remains. As after that, we go towards Naruto. As the preliminaries happened, and after that one month gap came, as Jiraiya and Sonari returned from their look, vacation outside of the village and took Menma and Mito to be trained, as they were also quite weirded out by Naruto after a sudden change. As after quite a while, Kushina and Minato had enough, and they went inside Naruto's room to see him hugging his knees and crying. As they dashed towards him, Naruto, is everything fine? I know he's back, but we'll stop him this time, I promise. I was attacked. I was attacked by two more animatronics. They were being possessed by him. One of them is still is, and he's out there. He has turned the Akatsuki into the animatronics army, and and he's walking here. I can sense him. He's getting close. He's going to kill all of you. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to protect anyone. Why are you so scared, Naruto? We are here for you. We all this will be. We love you, son. No matter what happens. Never. I mean, never f forget about that, said Kushina. As Naruto then smiled. Hi, Kachan. As after that, Naruto knew what he had to do. As at that night, he went in his, in his mindscape to talk to animatronics. I have a plan. As animatronics eyes widened after they listened. One month passed and Konha crush began. In the finals, as after the finals ended, as in Konha's victories and Orochimaru's capture, Takaski struck then and there, not giving them any chance as Naruto arrived. Luckily, it was the night of the same night that the building is supposed to appear, as Naruto led Madara Trap and each and every one of his animatronics into the forest of death where he was waiting. Hmm, look what do we have here. Oh yes, my new victim. As Naruto then groaned, your regimes of terror ends here. Trap. Hmm, I like that name. That is why I have given myself a new one. You see, I went by many names. Springlock, Spring Trap, Garbage Trap, and even Burn Trap. <laughs> William Afton. But now I am Madara. Madara Trap. I don't care if you are trap, crap, or whatever. Today, you die here. Felix, now! As a shark appeared and taking all of the other animatronics in his teeth. But, before it got near to the Rinnegan one, the one said, Shinra Tensei, as Felix was flown back as it shattered into many pieces, as Naruto absorbed it back. Damn it, Naruto growled as he summoned all of the animatronics, as his hands turned into Freddy's. Rockstar Freddy's likes and fully upgraded ones as he dashed at Foxy's speed at towards Mother Trap who dodged him. Oh, that was close. These eyes are quite nice. They were pink and purplish. Rina Sharing gun in there. Snarto's eyes for it. He has the Tojutsu. Shit. As Mother Trap said, Katon, go Kyakunu Jitsu. As a fireball was launched at Naruto, who flew back and was slammed into the building's door. As suddenly, the globe came out of Naruto's back. You have to do this, Naruto. It's now or never. I know, as Naruto grabbed each and every one of the animatronic with his globe-type chakra chains and even Mother him. No, I'm not going inside that cursed building. <laughs> oh said, you are only the one who's going there. Me as well. At the same time, all of Naruto's family and his sensor off. Naruto, what are you doing? Find a way to seal him, and it is the only way I can do it. No! What do you mean? We can't lose you, Naruto. After getting so close, no. I, I love you all. Just remember this. As the door closed, as Naruto then made hand seals, as Madara Trap was still there, and everyone curse you. I will come back, like I always do. And there's nothing. I mean, nothing you can do about it. Huh. Come out of this, then. Fujitsu, Forbidden Arts, Sealing, Imprisonment. As Shinigami appeared, why have you summoned? I want you to seal both me and all of us inside this building forever and lock this building from outside so that nobody can get inside. What do I get in return? You can do anything you want with us. Hmm. Well, Naruto is a monkey. 
You have fulfilled your destiny as the child of prophecy, protecting the ones, but the peace bit, well, your siblings can take care of that. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. And as for you, I agree. Both of you should remain here. Both of you should not exist because of what you have become, Naruto. And I will not free you. As Naruto looked out from the window of the pizzeria, as his family was banging on it, as he shook, shook his head, as his words uttered, I'm going to miss you. And I will protect everyone from him. So that no one has to suffer what my friends did. And I did. As after that, the building disappeared as if it never existed. As Kushina and Minato were on the ground, clenching cross and crying, shedding tears for the son they had lost. As after that, many years passed as Minato and Kushina and even his siblings arrived there each and every year at the same time. But the building never came. Naruto's story became a legend. Legend throughout the whole elemental nations that how he protected them from world devastation. And to confirm the story as a truth, the Land of Wave people have even made the stone statue of Naruto and all of the animatronics that saved them. As they were quite creepy, but they were loved. Loved throughout the elemental nations and everyone else. As we go towards the future, as the book closes, as Mito Uzumaki Namikaze Uchiha puts her daughter to sleep. Ne ne, Kachan, do you think Uncle Naruto will ever come back? I still hope so. Mother and father did hope before they passed away. Your grandma and grandpa. But he never came. So we stopped hoping. All of them did. But not I. I still hope that he will one day. He will, Ma. I promise said her little girl Sarata as suddenly Sasuke walked in. Is everything fine, Mito? Yes, honey, everything is fine. As both of them went into their own room to sleep, as a figure appeared there inside Sarata's room, as the said figure swayed a hand over Sarata's head. You're beautiful. I wish you a happy birthday. As Naruto left his own plushie and a shark plushie there alongside each and every one of the animatronics plushies, and vanished. And when the morning came, a letter was there from your loving uncle, Naruto. May you have many, many happy birthdays and a happy life. I will always watch over you and my family. From now and forever, loving uncle, Naruto. As Sarada dashed outside, grabbing all the plushies and the letter, as she came to the dining room where a grown-up manma was sitting with his wife Hinata and her son Boruto as Sarada said, Hey Uncle Manma, hey Aunt Hinata, hey Dad, hey Mom, what is it Princess, said Sasuke. What's got you so worked up? Look, Uncle Naruto came and he gave me all these plushies. As everyone's eyes widened, these were the exact plushies of all the animatronics that were there. They have seen, and a letter, as both Manma and Mito teared up, that their brother was still there. He could see them, but they couldn't. As in the parallel world that Naruto entrapped themselves in, it was called Mirror Dimension, Naruto was watching them, or his spirit was. As Mother Trap was still sealed inside the deep depths of the Felix pool, where Felix was now roaming, guarding it. No matter what Madara tried, he couldn't possess it. So, he just had to stay there, waiting for his comeback. But he knew, and everyone knew, that until Naruto is alive, that is not possible. And he has become immortal thanks to the goddamn Shinigami, that god. As both Menma and Mito were crying, as Naruto smiled, as his figure appeared, patting both of their backs, it's alright. A whisper was heard. Just live your life and enjoy. That is all I ask. And after that, the coldness that was inside the room, the warmth that filled inside their heart, disappeared as they cried even more. He really came back, huh? Yeah, he really did. So after that, they went back to their normal days, reminiscing of their brother and their parents after visiting their graves.
as this is where i'm going to be leaving the story of guys i hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel i know it's quite different and quite sad but i really wanted to do something of this sort other than being just you know happy jolly stories i hope you have liked this and this is apollo chiha and i'm signing out